They saw the tall ships coming And they stood still upon the shore When gunfire came, they started running But they'd taken twenty-five or more The dark baby cried for a mama But she just lay beside her still Like refugees in their own land And not being ready for the kill And we can all be sorry for things we've done And we're all in the same boat This story is right, this story is true I would not tell lies to you Like the promise said they did not keep And how they fenced us in like sheep Said to us, come take care of him Set us up on mission and Told us to read, to write and pray and they took the children away, took the children away, the children away. Snatched from their mother's breast, said this is for the best, took them away. Welcome and the Holy Spirit, said you've got to understand. We'll give to them what you can't give. Teach them how to really live. Teach them how to live their sin. Humiliated them instead. Taught them that and taught them this. And others taught them prejudice. Took the children away. The children away Breaking our mother's heart Carrying us all about to them away One dark day on friendly hand Came and didn't give a damn My mother cried Go get their dead He came running Mother's tears were falling down Dad shaped up and stood his ground He said, you touch my kids and you fight me Then they took us from the family Took us away They took us away Sent us off to foster homes 
felt alone Cause we were acting white What do you worry most about the, the Aboriginal culture? What I worry most about the Aboriginal culture is that it's being lost. Okay, we um, lost all our language, our culture, mm -hmm. and um, we lost our families. So the most thing I'm worried about and what I want to see happen is more Aboriginal culture being brought back into the schools, I being see. taught. I see. How did you find living with the white families? Um, it, that was a, that's a bit of a tricky question because my mother was white. Yeah. Ah, oh. okay. So Sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. My mother was white. My father was Aboriginal. Oh, so we okay. grew up in, in a in a mixed culture. Oh, but okay. when we were with white people, um, we weren't allowed to um, say we were Aboriginals. Oh. Okay. So Aboriginals we had to keep hidden oh. for a long, long time. We weren't allowed to tell anybody that we were Aboriginals because oh. my mother was scared that we'd be taken away again. Oh. So you know, we were just weren't we're told so we didn't tell anyone so we did we couldn't sing we couldn't dance and we couldn't speak in our own tongue when we were with white people i understand yeah so it's more like you don't want them to know who you are that's exactly. right yeah yeah and the thing is we grew up very ashamed yes. of being so uh, this might be the last question mm -hmm. what is your perspective regarding to the, uh, the national sorry day that national sorry day yeah. um at first, I wasn't impressed with it because I don't know how anybody can say they're sorry and expect you to get over it. If you've never lived it, then it's hard to say, in our culture, it's hard to say you're sorry. You know, if you do something wrong, you have to say you're sorry. But how can somebody say they're sorry when they didn't live it? But once I heard the apology that he, he'd written, it actually brought me to tears. I was very, very um, moved by it. Yeah. A and my elders uh, from study were very moved by it as well. They actually, a couple of them actually went down to Canberra to the apology ceremony. So um, it was very moving and I think it healed a lot of um, old wounds. And yes, for the yes. first time, yeah, and the first time I think Aboriginals were proud to stand up and say, we own this land yes. and we are Aboriginal. So I thank you for your time mm -hmm. and thank you. Thank you. To the stolen generations, I say the following. As Prime Minister of Australia, I am sorry. On behalf of the Government of Australia, I am sorry. On behalf of the Parliament of Australia, I am sorry. And I offer you this apology without qualification. We apologise for the hurt, the pain and suffering we the Parliament have caused you by the laws that previous Parliaments have enacted. We apologise for the indignity, the degradation and the humiliation these laws embody. We offer this apology to the mothers, the fathers, the brothers, the sisters, the families and the communities whose lives were ripped apart by the actions of successive governments under successive parliaments. So let us turn this page together. Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians, government and opposition, Commonwealth and state, and write this new chapter in our nation's story together. Stolen